Hello everyone. This video will show you how to set load balancer with Ning in front and two Apache server at back. Here I'm using Windows 10, but you can also use this tutorial on Windows 7 or even Linux operating system. If you don't know how to install Ning or Apache, you can check out my other video about install Ning on Windows and install Apache on Windows. First, we prepare Apache server, run on port 8080 and 8081 with PHP enable. If you don't know how to install PHP, you can check out my other video about install PHP on Windows. Okay, next uh, we open Apache configuration to set port. Okay, here I'm already set to port 8081 and for other Apache, okay, I already set to uh, 8080. Then we run Apache. For simple, I just double click my Apache. If you already set Apache as Windows Service, you can use a Windows Service or Apache Monitor. But here I'm using a double click for simple and fast way. Okay, let's check on browser. localhost port 8080 okay it run um, again localhost 8081 okay it run two and next we add some configuration to Ning and we open Ning configuration Ning uh, conf con. Okay, here we need add configuration on HTTP section. Um, up rim test load balancer. Server Calhost eighty eighty again server localhost eighty eighty one. Um, next we need add configuration to server section um, on location here. We just comment here and add proxy paste HTTP test load balancer. Okay, we just uh, only need this and proxy paste. And if you enable PHP on Ning and want to use load balancer, then you must disable PHP on your Ning or your PHP on Ning will not run correctly. And next, um, we run Ning. Okay, Ning already run. Next, localhost, Ning forbidden. Um, oh, I forgot to save. Uh, 
Um, okay, we need to restart Ning. Okay, Ning already uh, stop. Next, we start again, Ning. Um, next. Refresh, okay. Here, as you can see, Ning uh, show um, from localhost eighty eighty, and we try to refresh. Again, Ning show uh, index of localhost eighty eighty one. Okay, let's we check. Okay, run. Okay, running. Okay, uh, here I just uh, show you uh, the basic configuration to set Ning uh, as load balancer or people call it proxy server. As you can see before. There is um, some uh, little error, so maybe um, next video I will uh, show you how to fix it. But for now, I just want to show you how the basic uh, setting or the basic configuration to set Ning as load balancer. So okay, now you have a success set up load balancer with Ning, and of course this is a basic uh, configuration. Um, I hope this tutorial can help you to configure Ning as proxy server or load balancer. Um, please. Click like button if this video help you or dislike if not and don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next video.